Texas A&M, this guy wasted five years of your time, probably took off five years of your life due to the stress that you endured during his tenure, and stole nearly 100, yes, $100 million from your athletic department. Ladies and gentlemen, call the cops. We witnessed a robbery. The Jimbo Fisher experiment was a catastrophic failure in College Station. Aggie fans, I ask you one question. Are you excited that it's over? It's that time of year, guys. The coaching carousel in college football is upon us. Typically at this point in the season, certain programs have fallen under expectations. Their fans are upset with the product on the field. And then boom, the athletic department pulls the trigger and fires the head coach saying, yeah, buddy, you're not the guy for us. This brings up mixed opinions depending on the fan base. And I'm going to talk to you about a massive firing this weekend that might stir up some emotion for many of you. Sources confirmed on the morning of Sunday September 12, 2023, that Jimbo Fisher will be fired by Texas A&M. I don't know why I said it like that. It sounds like I'm reading a crime scene. This is not your typical coaching situation, guys. This is going to cost A&M. And when I say cost, I don't mean on the field. Jimbo Fisher signed a 10-year, $75 million contract in 2017 that was later updated to 10 years, $95 million. So he was getting paid around $9 million per year. Obviously, the results on the field didn't match what he was getting paid. And now the Aggies athletic department have to buy him out for $76 million. Oh my Lord. I'm kind of laughing right now because he was supposed to be the savior of this program. And I remember when he came in, what people were saying about him. They were saying that this was going to be the next power in the SEC. This was going to be the next dynasty. Then he consistently led the team to four losses each season with a mediocre bowl win on top of it as the cherry. Then he walks away with $76 million. What a win for Jimbo Fisher. I want to walk away being a loser with $76 million. Anyways, he went 45-25 and 25 at A&M, which is not bad, but the expectations in College Station were huge, and he did not deliver. I mean, obviously, the expectations were huge. The investment that they made in him was unbelievable. He was in the top 10 for highest-paid coaches in college football. If you were wondering, here are some of the names he was next to on the list. Saban, Sweeney, Smart, Day, is there a difference between these guys? Yes, there's a clear difference between Fisher and these coaches I listed. They win, and they actually put out a consistent good product on the field. Fisher doesn't. He was getting paid like he was coaching a top-tier program, but he was not. It was fraudulent. This program was honestly a joke, a continuous cycle of hype and letdown. Four straight years, Texas A&M had a top-10 nationally ranked recruiting class, including the best recruiting class of all time in 2022. You heard me. The best recruiting class ever. So what did they do on the field with that? A five and seven season. Nice. How is that justified, guys? This is a meme. This is honestly a meme of a program. I remember seeing the recruiting rankings that year and thinking, wow, A&M is finally going to be for real. This is it, guys. This is what delusional fans kept saying every single year. Trust the process. All part of Jimbo's plan. Jimbo's plan? Dude, God's plan like Drake song like the Drake song is this guy Drake I can't even hate on you fans for saying all that stuff though I'm an optimist when it comes to my teams as well but I kept seeing you guys on Reddit just saying that it was going to be it and I listened but at one point I stopped listening because it kept happening let's take a look at Jimbo's record by year nine and four eight and five nine and one which was obviously an anomaly then eight and four then five and seven, and now six and four through this shortened 2023 campaign. Does this sound like an elite program to you guys? If I just gave you the records, are you saying, hey guys, is this an elite program? No, absolutely not. A&M wanted to make that step to become an elite program in the SEC when they went out and spent this gigantic bag. But I'll reiterate, guys, his overall record is not bad. But with the resources that he had, it was almost inexplicable. We need to do a case study. We need to do an experiment, guys. Maybe you could tell me in the comments what went wrong. After the 2012 through 2014 seasons at Florida State, Fisher was never the same. Everyone thought that he could return to what he had at Florida State. That was A&M's vision. They had a hope he could replicate it and what he built, but he fooled everyone, including me. Jimbo Fisher was all bark, no bite. He was the definition and the embodiment of talk the talk, but don't walk the walk. He was one of those kids who was always talking themselves up. Oh, I can do this. I can do that. Trust me. But they don't do anything. Everyone knows those kind of people in your life. Do not hang around them. Do not trust them. Okay, I'm just giving out life lessons. Jimbo, if you're listening, please donate that money to charity or second option, 
You can hand it over to me, and I can make this channel even better than it is right now. I could invest into it and make quality content for all of you guys listening. That would be awesome. a and fans, I'm trying not to sound like I'm hating your program. I'm really just hating Jimbo Fisher. I do have a soft spot for Texas A&M. My cousin recently graduated as an engineer, and he loved the school. He didn't really like football, though, so he's not going to see this video and take offense but I got some love for you guys, so it's all good between us. Videos like these definitely tend to stir up a lot of emotion, so as a college football fan, let me know how you're feeling about the Jimbo Fisher experiment in the comments right now. Go. Thanks for reaching the end of the video. If you're new, subscribe. Join the best community in college football. You never want to miss out on another video. I've been Saturday Shenanigans, your home for unfiltered college football content, and I will see you guys in the next one.